guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7. I'm here to give you guys a video today on how to make an intro using Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, somebody asked me in one of my commentary videos how I make my intro, and I just gave a simple answer. It's just uh, Final Cut X with one of the presets, and they didn't know what I was talking about or something like that, so they just want to see a video how it was done. It's actually pretty simple. Um, you can also make the same intro using Motion, but um, in this video, I'm going to use Final Cut Pro X because it's easier. Motion takes a little bit more. Um, I guess skill level, if you're more advanced with video editing, you can use motion, but uh, for the average user that's probably going to watch this video, uh, Final Cut Pro X is probably the way to go. So first thing you need to do is you need to download Final Cut X if you don't already have it. It's $299 in the Mac App Store, that's $200, uh, $300 I should say. Um, so download that if you don't have it uh, in the Mac App Store, if you can afford it. So um, once you have that, that downloaded, uh, open it up. Might should take a little bit longer because I have a few projects in there. Alright, this is from a previous tutorial I was making that uh, didn't come out that well. So, uh, first thing you need to do is you make a, need to make a new timeline. Uh, go down to the film wheel down here and then hit the plus sign. And then I'm going to call this um, intro video 2, just like so. So, after that's done, uh, come over here to your event library and right click and hit new event and then once you're on here you're basically all done so all you gotta do now is make sure you have your inspector open and the way you do that is if you come down to the eye icon most likely when you first buy Funko Pro it would, just, it would look somewhat like this but if you want to have it similar to the way I have it uh, I usually have the inspector open all the time so click the eye and then you should be all set so then after you got your inspector open, you want to go down to the T tab with titles and make sure it's set to all. Then you want to go down all the way down to the bottom to it says uh, splash ink splash. This is this one right here. What you want to do is you want to click on it and then drag it into your timeline like so. Now this box should pop up. It just uh, wants you to uh, set your properties for your video. Uh, I usually keep mine at 720p, but you can do 1080p, whatever resolution you want. And I usually keep the frame rate at 30, like this, and then I hit OK. That's pretty much done. Now, most of the time in Final Cut Pro, which I notice if I open up from a cold start, that the skimming will be off, so when you move your timeline, it automatically plays. You want to turn that off by hitting this button right here. So once that's turned off, I'll move your playhead to the end of it where you can see all your titles and all you gotta do to edit the title is double click on it and then type whatever you want so I'm gonna type in um let's see um uh, let's type in my name and then you can add a subtitle if you want but I'm just gonna call this uh intro like so now in the inspector tab you have control over the ink color so if you want to change the ink color in the background you can come over here I'm gonna change this to let's make it a blue color like that or some type of greenish blue color uh, let's go to that one there we go and then once you're done with that you can change the font that's inside the ink so the E and the G and the M or the A and the M as you can see the font that's in white uh, you can change that to a different color but I'm gonna keep out the white because I like it that way and then the font 9 the ink, uh, let's make this a red. There we go. So that's basically how I make my intro. Uh, for music, I just go over to the uh, music note and I go into the Final Cut Pro sound effects folder and I type in uh, thunder. And I usually choose, sorry about the launch paddle being up, um, the 19 second thunder lightning one, which is the second one right here. And I just match it up with the timeline I usually bring it back a little bit and then there it's pretty much done so all you have to do is play it back in the space bar and it, and it might look a little bit slow because your video is rendering in the background but probably once it's all exported it will, will look pretty nice um, so also the way you export uh, this intro so you can use it in Final Cut Pro, iMovie, After Effects, basically any program you want you go up to the share menu 
Okay, export movie. Now make sure you change the export um, drop down bar from current settings to H.264 so it's a nice YouTube friendly format. And make sure after export up on QuickTime selected if you want you can change it to do nothing or open compressor as you have mine set the QuickTime. And if you're just having audio, if you just have video and you don't have any audio you can choose video only but I have both the sound and the uh, video so I'm going to keep it audio and video. And summary just gives you a little more detailed look of your um, clips or of your um, actual file size. So after that's done, hit next. Then pick wherever you want to save it and call it something. And then hit save. And then it shouldn't take that long. And then after it's done exporting, you should get a QuickTime uh, window to pop up and you can uh, use your intro whenever program you like. So I hope this helps you for the person that requested and hope to I hope that helps others that were uh, needing help with this uh, type of intro. It's actually pretty simple to make. If you want the motion version, just post it down below and I'll make a uh, video response to this particular video with that tutorial. But for right now guys, I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys later.